Well, I have a tree um, on what used to be the first row of my blackberries where that black line is. This tree was given to me by my stalker. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to the video right about there, right about now. And uh, came and gave me this mulberry tree. And uh, you know, I, I've been wanting to, been meaning to come down here and put a little drip irrigation on it. And I just haven't until I saw it kind of turning yellow a little bit. And I've been watering it. I brought some buckets down here uh, with holes in the bottom of them and fill the bucket up and let it trickle down, but just not probably like I should. Plus I'm going to mulch with some good uh, mulch down wood chips compost. I just wanted to show you the, what I did here and how I'm, how I am um, irrigating this tree. Uh, basically drip line, half inch drip line. So I put, uh, these are one gallon a minute, one gallon per hour, bu uh, bubblers or emitters. And it's, it's for trees, shrubs, things like that. And so I just basically capped it off with that cap. And you know, I don't know whether how familiar y'all are with this stuff, but this, the pipe just pushes up on this and then this screws on and tightens the pipe down and pretty, pretty watertight if you do it right. Pretty watertight if you do it right. Uh, and then you poke a hole in it with their little tool and put a barb, that little, you got a barb in there. And then I've got some, uh, some uh, quarter inch uh, tubing that, uh, that where the, the emitters are. So basically I'm just gonna be putting this down here like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mulch it for, first. I'll show you when after I'm through. Mulch it first and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put the emitters on top and I'm only doing that probably they should be on bottom the only reason I'm doing it because I I just now built the thing and I just want to make sure they're working right and you know I, I I don't know I just I think as slow as they're emitting I think it'll it'll drip down in there and the mulch is gonna help a lot uh, we're going into summer it's the middle of June, uh, July and we've gotten so much rain is one reason I hadn't done it already. We just, man, June was a wet, wet month. So uh, we just had so much rain that I just didn't think it was necessary to come out here and do this. But now it is starting to show signs of uh, I want a drink. So I want a steady drink. So let me show you how I hooked it up up here at the faucet. And then uh, then I'll mulch it and show you the, the uh, final product. Hang on. Again, if you're familiar with drip, irrigation and how it works and all that then you know what I'm talking about this is kind of self-explanatory but basically I've got an elbow down there little L little L right here coming up to the faucet uh, this is a pressure reducer I think it's a 19 pound 20 pound something like that or maybe 25 pressure reducer which is good when you're doing drip because you don't need a lot of pressure on that hose you don't need a lot of pressure on those drip emitters um, and at least that's my understanding. It's the way I've always done it, is to put a, a pressure reducer before you get to your emitters, okay? But that's the way it hooks up. Now this is the hose that goes to my, uh, all my beds, my, uh, PV, my PVC pipe, you can see down there probably, uh, that I poked holes in. Um, if, you, if you're wanting to do a long row, then I've got a good video on how to do a row, um, whether it be a row crop or, whether, or, or blackberries or whatever, maybe a line of, of fruit trees. Uh, it, it, I'll show it right up about there, right about now, uh, how, to, how to build this irrigation system from PVC. This is different. This is all made out of drip pipe, a half inch, uh, half inch pipe until we get up there where the barbs are, that's quarter inch. So anyway, let me, um, uh, let me mulch it. Well, I'll, I'll just turn it on and let you show it show it to you bubbling a little bit typically it's going to weep a little bit this pressure reducer weeps just a little bit out of a hole it's got a hole right there in the back side somewhere under there and it'll weep for a little bit and and then it'll stop now if they go bad they weep all the time so this one is still good i've got one i put on here first and it does not uh, it whipped it wept all the time it was just a sad little thing just crying all the time I think Elvis said that. Anyway, so it was bad. Had to had to replace it with this one. Let me go up here and show you them uh, bubbling a little bit, and then we'll mulch, mulch the tree. So here's the emitter and what they put out. Just a nice little slow drip. 
again i can't remember whether this is one or two gallons per hour i think it's one but it looks like it might be two that's, that's pretty good drip these two i think are going to be on top of the mulch and um, anyway let me mulch and show you the final product here well here they are in action and i will uh, back off just a second and show you the whole mulch job around the tree i'm sorry i'm shaking a little bit but I've been shoveling um anyway doing doing real i've got like i say we've got that one emitter over here that's under the mulch it'll it'll be going you know watering up this way uh mulched it real good again mulberry tree it's about nine or ten feet tall right now when you mulch make sure you don't have mulch right up against the tree and pull the mulch away from the tree maybe two or three inches and then uh, and then let it kind of kind of mound up around it that's not a beautiful job of mulching but it'll do and it's something been needing done for a long time. Got a little bird nest up there. Oh my goodness, we got birds. I didn't realize that. Well you get a you get an extra surprise. They think I am mama. And they got their mouths open. And all I can see is the, yeah, there's several of them. <laughs> I tapped on a little bit and <laughs> that's cool that's cool I don't know what it is a little sparrow or something allow me I may have to try to put the camera up here and get some video of her feeding them little old dudes maybe tomorrow or something like that watch me tap on it Mama's here. Mama's here. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't expect that. So all I was going to show you was this, but we done, we done got a little nature video going. All right. So here's the mulch. Here's the mulch. There's the bird. Now, I saw her fly off a while ago, but I just, I, I picked in there the other day and didn't see anything, but I didn't stand up tall enough to look in it. They're way down in there. Okay. So we're, uh, we're mulched, we're dripped, we're irrigated, and um, hopefully this, uh, this little tree will take off. Um, and it's done, it's done real well. This is the second year, and it's, it's grown uh, four, three or four feet, so it's done pretty doggone good. I had berries on it early this year, had berries on it early last year. Nothing stayed on it. I don't know whether that means the birds came and got them, whether it's just uh, too young to really produce real well. I don't think they need a pollinator, but I'm not sure. Uh, I need to look that up, I guess. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, I guess we're done. Time for dinner. <laughs> oh, it looks like me when I'm trying to sing. All right, I believe we're done <laughs> and we're gone.